everyone has a mission in life. I knew that as a Jewish person and as a human in this world, that I had to make sure that I told the story. Something that propels them forward. It felt like a responsibility to me. For Brian Hunnigbaum, it's remembrances, a ballet in memory of the victims of the Holocaust. I wanted to be able to tell the story of the Holocaust in a way that would get the audience to feel something and to think about what happened. He first envisioned the project as a nine-year-old child when he started taking dance lessons. Brian noticed the secretary at his dance school had numbers tattooed on her arms. I found that her and her husband, Agnes and Mike Vogel, were both Holocaust survivors, so I became interested in that story and at a young age realized that there, there were less and less survivors. So I actually started choreographing or working on this piece when I was probably about 13 years old. Because as a dancer, I felt that was the best way to convey the emotion. Brian Honigbaum has found a way to use the human body to express some incredibly unexpressible things. Brian just does a really great job of capturing um, special moments in the piece through movement. Um, that I think the audience will really relate to. We're telling the story historically through dance. Kristallnacht, the night of the broken glass where uh, the, the Nazis came and, and broke all the windows of the Jewish stores and burned their stores and burned the synagogues. We have a section called uh, Baba Yar, which we call the shooting scene. They took 32,000 Jews out into the forest, dug a pit, and spent two days just shooting them. The story itself, the moment itself, has intense gravity, and just to honor that for a second, I think is so powerful. I think each section has moments of heaviness, of power. We have a section with the train, where the dancers are, are grouped together and moving as, as a unit in a train, and it's difficult for them. You know, when you're in that train, and you're smashed up, and people are stepping on your feet, and it, it's, a, it's difficult. And it's very, very uncomfortable for them. It's going to be a very moving and difficult experience. Most people that I talk to think that's probably the most emotional part. You watch a movie like Schindler's List or something like that, you're not expecting to have a good laugh and walk away energized. You're moved, you're stirred, your um, heartstrings are pulled, and you hopefully walk away feeling more alive than you did. I want the audience to feel something, whether it's sad or disgust or uncomfortable or angry or confused. If you can get the audience to leave the theater with an emotion, it carries forward. What I uh, wholeheartedly believe that it's an important story to tell and to remember and to keep telling. It, it does elicit a response, um, especially for the students. And we really try to use the ballet as a tool for education. So as an educator, you're able to say, oh, that's historically what's going on. And unfortunately, there's a lot of hate and intolerance in this world today. And so I think it, it has an even deeper meaning. It's, it's about the Holocaust, but it's really teaching you this is what happens when you let hate and intolerance go too far. Their experience watching this ballet will stay with them. It will stay a part of them um, forever. I think the piece becomes even more important as the years go on. In this particular ballet, Remembrances, I think is the most extreme in, as far as an emotional piece that the dancers are getting to work with. It has this gravity that everyone respects and honors. Their honesty and their gumption is what makes it so, so moving. And so as artists, that is our job, is to make sure that we convey the feeling for that moment of history. They are just so purely and genuinely themselves sharing what they love. It's very unique. The ritual of going to the theater is a very important ritual because it, it reminds us how wonderful it is to be alive, how wonderful life is, how beautiful life can be. It's really an opportunity for this community, and that's why I wanted to do it. It's my home, and I, I know that if people show up, it'll touch them. I know, I've seen it. I think that it's a very, very, very special thing that we're doing here at Dance Kaleidoscope, and I just hope that a lot of people get a chance to experience it.